Dear students, now we are going to discuss boundary conditions for magnetic field in detail. In general, magnetic field is continuous in a single magnetic medium. If we are going to interface to magnetic materials with different permeabilities, then at the interface between the two magnetic materials, the magnetic field component changes both in the magnitude as well as direction. Therefore, we can obtain boundary relation or boundary conditions for this magnetic field at this boundary. Okay, so consider two magnetic media with the different permeabilities mu1 and mu2. So, this is the boundary line. So, we can obtain boundary relation for this magnetic field. There are two boundary conditions. The first one is the normal component of magnetic flux density is continuous across the boundary. It is represented as Bn1 is equal to Bn2. So here continuous means it is always equal. That is the normal component of magnetic flux density in the first medium is equal to the normal component of the magnetic flux density in the second medium. Okay, if both are same means that is called as continuous one across the boundary. Do you all understand? The second condition is the tangential component of magnetic field intensity is discontinuous by the amount equal to the surface current density. Okay, so here the tangential component of magnetic field intensity is discontinuous. Discontinuous means both are not equal. So, there may be some difference. Okay. So, the difference between these two tangential component of the magnetic field intensities is equal to surface current density. Do you all understand? So, that is the second condition. If there is no surface current density, then we can say HT1 minus HT2 is equal to 0. From that we can obtain HT1 is equal to HT2. So if there is no surface current density, then the magnetic field intensity is continuous across the boundary level. Do you all understand? Next we are going to prove each boundary condition. The first one is Bn1 is equal to Bn2. That is the normal component of magnetic flux density is continuous across the boundary line. Okay. So, for that we can consider a pillbox of surface area ds across the boundary between two magnetic medium. So, here we can consider medium 1, medium 2 with the permeabilities mu1 and mu2. This is the boundary line. We are going to construct this pillbox at this boundary line. Okay. So, here we are going to use gas law for magnetic field. So, what is gas law for magnetic field? The total magnetic flux passing through any closed surface is equal to 0. So, we integration of B dot ds is equal to 0. So, here we can take the total magnetic flux enclosed by the pill box. So, here we can have two magnetic flux densities Bn1 and Bn2. So, we have to take this two. So, Bn1 dot ds minus Bn2 dot ds is equal to 0. Okay. So, here we can Cancel this ds and we can move this bn to this right hand side. From this we can get bn1 is equal to bn2. Therefore the normal component of the flux density is continuous across the boundary line. Okay. As we all know that b is equal to mu into h. Then this bn1 and bn2 can be replaced as mu1 hn1 is equal to mu2 hn2. Okay, then move this mu n to this right hand side, then we can hate h n1 is equal to mu2 by mu1 h n2. That means the normal component of the magnetic field intensity is discontinuous by the factor mu2 by mu1. So here the normal component of magnetic flux density is continuous, but the normal component of the magnetic field intensity is discontinuous. Okay. The next boundary condition is the tangential component of magnetic field intensity is discontinuous. 
So for that we can consider a small rectangular box of length del L at the boundary of this two media. Okay. So here the length is a del L. Here the tangential component of the magnetic field intensity HT1 in this direction for this material it is HT2. Okay. So here we are going to use Ampere circuital law. According to Ampere's law, the line integral of magnetic field intensity about any closed path is exactly equal to the direct current enclosed by that path. Okay. Here we can take the surface charge density Js into del L for this I and this integration can be written as HT1 del L minus HT2 del L. So we can cancel all the del L here. Finally we can get the tangential component of magnetic field intensity is discontinuous at the boundary by the amount of Js. If Js is equal to 0, that is the surface current density is equal to 0, HT1 is equal to HT2. If there is no surface current density at the boundary, the tangential component of H is continuous across the boundary. Okay.